Uh, some spells you can't even level. Like, there are a couple of spells where you have only uh, a fixed amount of ingredients for. Like, there's a spell that get generates call beads, and you only can use that spell like uh, four, five, six times or so. Because you don't get dry eyes in the game at all, except from some pick, uh, some spots where you can pick it up. That was good. I mean, the alchemy would not maybe even the biggest problem. The biggest problem would get level 99, because the shit will take, like, infinitely long. I mean, if you play this game casually, you will end up with, like, level 35 or so. If you do a lot of things in the game. Like, level 35, level 36, maybe level 37. And, yeah, that is what you will be at the land at the end of the level uh, of the game but this game actually can level up to level 99 uh, so there's like a difference between nearly 60 levels from being max level when you finish the game so I have no idea how I've as I said I've never managed to get more than like level 37 or so because it, f it takes forever already at le level plus uh, 30 plus or so. So I don't want to know how long it takes from level 80 to level 90 already. Like spells are not a big deal, you can just do the 8 cast everywhere and you spam spells and then you're good but as is, as I said you can't even do that with every spell because you don't have the ingredients for them Some spells you can get easy to level 6 or so, like Crush or. Well, uh, basically all offensive spells, or the, the main offensive spell you're gonna use. It's gonna be easy at level 6 in a casual playthrough. Atlas Medallions. Well, the thing is. The guy only sells you up to like three or four at the same time. So if you get more than that, he's not gonna sell you more medallions. So you would have actually to use your atlas first. Like you have to get like four or five atlas, then use them, and then you can buy again from him. That is annoying already as fuck. Max level levitation. Yeah, that doesn't even work because you don't have enough rocks in the game to do that. I like there's a spell that revives the dog. So, uh. 
That's not gonna even work anymore if the dog is in level 99. Because the dog won't die again, I think. Or the spell uh, called Revealer, like the the spell that reveals the invisible bridges in Act 2. Not again, though. Um, well, technically you can make this to max level, but you have to reveal the bridge, then go leave the screen and come back. And you have to do this like 10 times for level 1 already. So to get this on level 6, you have to do it like, I don't know, a million times or so? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Three, four, five, six, seven. It didn't work again with the switching around, but... Stay there, idiot. But the boy did not die. Yeah, well, Energize is really good casually. Too bad you only get it for the final boss. But I guess it would be o uh, OP as fuck otherwise. This time is really bad though. I forgot something. Easy. Also pretty fast, so that's nice. what everyone does, like when they play the game the first time. Like I also fa farmed the enemies there. Because they have a really good like experience and money rate for that early in the game. Like just staying there and killing them over and over until you hit le level 6 or 7. Yes. <laughs> 
Yeah, cellar box is painful. It's really, really annoying and casual. Like you either need a really high level spell or you need a good we a good need to charge your spear. Like at least once. And even if you do that one only once, you need like 40 hits or so to kill him. better than last time. Oh nice, 8 damage was actually enough. Hey Fethlo! Thanks man. Not bad. I did the shopping, right? Armor and stuff. Can he- I know- I'm not even sure if you can hit Salabog with another weapon than a charged spear. I don't think so. Maybe when he snaps for you, but... It's like a super risky situation. Snaps. <sighs> yeah, he's also he's the most con time con consuming boss in the speedrun as well, I think. But all the spells you have to use on him. Well, Ter <laughs> Parasite isn't Terranigma, I just I was just talking about Secret of Evermore. Speed also works, I think. Then you have a high, extremely high dodge rate.
but only works if you have if you if you have uh, speed on level two or so. So you need to level speed first. He's actually at least on, on better damage roll though. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, five, six, seven. Alright, there we go. It's probably the run I have to take because Getting close that I can't reset this anymore. Good. So let's hope I get everything now. Uh, most time-consuming boss in speedrunning history might be so far from Luna 2, I don't know. Because the fight is like 45 minutes long or so. Damn, I wasn't spot already. It's good. All right. It was not beautiful, but I take it.
But I don't know much about the taste of Symphonia, so... But uh, obviously I think some like bonus bosses out of some games will take forever in speedrunning. Alright, let's see if we get the Atlas Glitch. Not set in stone yet, though. Lost poison damage. Uh, that should be good enough. Pretty good. I like that. Best part of the run, best part of the speed run. Alright, I need my list.
Dum di dum di dum. Okay, today we have a really good chance for PV, hopefully, if I don't fail too much. So, if I keep going a good pace, and Eros is nice as well, and everything cooperates a little bit. A couple of people did that already. Silver Fox. Karakhan did it? Did he? Did he ever do it? Nemesis run? I know Johanno, Johanno with the, did it like two or three times. Uh, Sarath and Afunian. There's actually even, I think, a letterboard for that now. A leaderboard on, on speedrun.com. Let's do the trading on the market. Yeah, that rice and spice spot will. That is one of the things you can do to get that. Another one option would be like you buy rice here and sell it again because you. Uh, two limestone, right? Yeah. The funny thing is, if you buy rice here at one spot, and there's also another spot where you can sell all the items you buy here. So, you can buy rice and sell it, and you make money by that. It's pretty funny though. Like on the girl on the right here, you can uh, buy rice there for like uh, three jewels and you can sell it for like five or so. I need more rice I think, like ten or so. I 
Fan Core. Oh, I don't have the Moxon Stick yet. I run this game for like, oh god, like nearly four years now already. Deal. You already have the Sunstone. Got this. Uh, got this. Got this. So got this. Got this. Got this. All right. It's two more, th three more things I need. This one. Okay, technically four because I need to talk to her twice here. And the cure here. Talk to the guys on the bottom already. Yep. Got the amulets, got the rice, got the cure. Fun fact, you never need pots in this game. Like, never at all. Technically, you have enough time to taunt chickens, though. Grind yet? What grind? I don't need to grind. <laughs> yeah, it's just 50 minutes of grind. It was earlier. It was 50 minutes. I haven't changed the split names for like in, for like ever. But what you technically do is you grind for money though. You don't even do that much in 100%. Right, time should be over in 2, 1. There we go. And he's using the good way. Yeah, the 100% run has way more stuff to do with the 50 minute timing here. Like, you have to do the entire market segment. <laughs> Illusion of Gaia, or Illusion of Time. I actually thought about Illusion of Gaia, but then Bowie popped up in my stream, and he was like, Oh, I want to learn, and it starts speedrunning. And then, yeah, he picked up Illusion of Gaia. So I was like, hmm. Alright, there's another speedrun of Illusion of Gaia, and then we formed the Moon Bros at some point, and we had GSH happening, and I was like, okay, we have like Illusion of Gaia covered because Bowie's doing it. So I've never came back to that idea of learning Illusion of Gaia again. Uh, I wouldn't say nobody ever will destroy his time, but it's definitely really difficult. Major sequence break in Illusion of Gaia. Have fun. Like not 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 a single game of the Quintet games is like glitch fest. 
Like not a single, not even Soul Blazer. Like Soul Blazer doesn't even have a single glitch in it, basically. At least, let's say like they, they all have no glitches that save like a couple minutes or something like that. They have maybe some skips and tricks and everything that saves seconds. Like five seconds here or so, ten seconds there maybe, but that's it. Soulblazer has barely glitches, Illusion of Gaia has barely some glitches, and Tarnigma as well. <laughs> Yagamoth glitch fest, yeah. Secret of, Ever Secret of Mana is one of these games, like Secret of Evermore as well, that are heavily, heavily glitch fest. Well, Lufia 2 is a special case, I guess. Lufia 2 might be the next game I'm going to uh, try to improve again. If I'm finally good with my ever more time. I'm not sure though. Learn everything basically. Also, I will probably only do the Japanese version because I have this now here on cartridge. So, I'm actually not sure if Magus did the entire RNG manipulation. I would say like 80% or so. I mean, that's the thing about um, Lufia now, like ev nearly every boss is manipulated. Well, you barely need to do Doom Island, because Doom Island is basically every boss does the same anyway, every time. You just need to get kind of lucky for some status effects. Which you also can, could technically manipulate. Like, Deus is always like uh, this, this Chaos Wave or what he does. Then he does Dark Fry, 
then he does a normal attack, then he does his reflection attack. Then he does a random spell, I think. And then he does another two random spells and then he repeats his cycle. The only thing that can fuck you up in Deus fight is if he if his Chaos Wave or whatever it is. If that actually does a step stupid status effect like sleep on Maxim or something like that. But as I said, it's, it is possible that you can manipulate that, or uh, I can't remember my last equipment because I uh, I basically did a lot of stuff that, that you are pretty much immune to everything at Deos. Happy 100%. I actually thought about 100% though, but uh, I don't really like to do the engine cave. Engine cave is mandatory, yes. You have to do engine cave for 100%. First reason is, there are the chests behind the guy in the mid, like, I guess you saw that already if you enter entrance cave, there are some chests when you enter the cave, that you only can get if you defeat actually the jelly. And the second thing is, there's one empty chest be between these chests, and when you collect the dragon eggs, it is actually possible that the, one of the dragon eggs spawn one of these chests. Hardest ah, puzzle is also mandatory, yes, because there are four, mo four more chests. So basically for 100% Lufia, you need to pick up all chests in the game. You need to defeat the Egg Dragon and you need to beat the Entry Cave. And you need to col collect all capsule monsters. Not sure about evolving them though. Oh, and you need the VIP ticket for the casino. Really important. <laughs> oh, you need to evolve them to S rank. Okay, that's what I don't know. As I said, I never really paid attention for the 100% run. And I also didn't pay attention during GSH if he did that. With the evolving. Of course. Well, I, I watched the run, obviously, but I didn't pay attention that he evolved the capsule monsters. I think it is a fan category. The problem is, as said, Edge Cave is the problem. <laughs> well, the thing is, you do Edge Cave in like uh, two and a half hours in or so. Like. You have to play two and a half hours to get to Entrance Cave, and then you immediately do the Entrance Cave because you have Decker in your party at this point. Entrance 
Hiv's never a problem. I wish I could say that. My statistics say something else, like out of 70 runs I have finished like 4. Yeah, Magus died like 3 times. I, 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 the entry cave time was like 3 hours or so nearly, I think. So it's like twice as long as it should be. I actually want to look for a new speed game though, that like nobody of the Moon Bros runs, so we have something new for next year's age. And it should not be Turok 2. Like, it should be a console game or something like that, because unfortunately our PC setup for GSH is pretty trashy. So, like, Undertale gave me a lot of problems. games in my mind, but first thing is I'm lazy, and the second thing is I, <sighs> yeah, I can't decide what I'm gonna do actually. know what it is right now. <laughs> Like, I was never that much into the Mega Man franchise. I beat a couple of Mega Man games, I played a couple of Mega Man games, but uh, I was never like, oh, right, great game, need to speedrun this. Especially like the early games with all the extremely glitches, like Mega Man 1 and 2. It's not really mine though. Also, I have a couple of short games already, like Roadrunner, Goof Troop. Yeah, I got the horror spell in the pyramid. Dodge. 
I, I still don't understand how you're gonna miss a statue that can't move. Probably gonna learn the uh, SimCity speedrun. <laughs> I mean, I have the game now on console. So. It's the Japanese version, but who cares? Grandia 2. That's Magus' job. That is the job from Magus. I said, it's more like I'm looking for a game that nobody of the other Moon Bros run to have more variety for GSH and stuff like that, or Fundraiser, or Scrubathon. I mean, when Magus comes back from RPG Limit Break, I think he's gonna start the uh, topic for next Scrubathon, and at the moment I have no idea what I should submit for that. So probably I will be my first Scrubathon where I don't run a game. Thanks Fancore, and thanks for those, and have fun whatever you can do now. This run has a lot of potential though. I like it. Not 
Not even only for PB, even for world record. But I can get hyped after Neris though. Because this is the biggest the biggest blocker I have now in my way. Don't jinx it. Yeah, I try to keep calm and just focus. Keep talking shit. Well, the thing is, I would like to have cartridges for some of my games. Like, I, I need it, I want... I'm looking for a Link to the pa Past cartridge. And it needs to be a 1.0 Japanese cartridge, because glitches stuff. Mostly I only did the Link to the Past for fun, yes. Like, if it's gonna happen again, I'm gonna join the randomizer race on Saturday again. That should happen, like, they always had like over 60 entrances so far. So I'm probably gonna do the weekly randomizer again on Saturday. And yeah, maybe it could be that I do some Link to the Past, but as I said, I would like to play on console. So... Don't like to play an emulator anymore, especially because I have to use my stupid Logitech controller with the clicky D-pad. Like, look at this crap. Look at this shit, man. This D-pad is so bullshit. Okay for stuff like randomizers and everything, but mm. use the keyboard. <laughs> or, or the other option would be I uh, get I would get an adapter for my Super Nintendo controller right here, so I could ho hook up that to my PC. But on the other hand, this controller here is not the best anymore, so probably also need a new controller then. But the money is a little bit tough right now, so I would actually buy that if I could get payout for my uh, bits. So if I would get enough bits to get my payout, I would actually buy a uh, controller and everything, and a game and whatever. But at the moment I don't have enough money to spend on stuff, so... I would also do Terranigma speedruns, but I don't have a cartridge as well.
of the sound when he falls into a vent. German names for this game were actually pretty cool. Like also the jokes in this game were pretty good. Makes some parts really ridiculous, that's true. But in general, the translation is not terrible. Like these movie references the main hero gives sometimes, they are really. But he, he also does that in the original version, so. I actually have this game on NTSC you now, so on, on the, I have actually the US version now and the PAL version as well. So I have the game twice technically. These misses, man. Every time. And then I crit the stupid robot. Nice. I hope I got everything so far. Oh, this is the evil twin, right there. That's why she looks angry, probably. Oh. 
Spoilers, yeah. And he, in this version, she's actually, I think she's called Camellia Blue Garden. I think. I get scared that I forgot something. All these gold splits. Titus impression from Final Fantasy X. <laughs> Please don't get stuck. Ray, level up. Oh shit. I don't know where the dog is. Alright, he's not too far behind. Dark Forest is, I, I, in my opinion, Dark Forest is worse than Dark Maze. Okay, there's one alchemy spell I need here. Why gonna take a little different path at the start? Just a little. I can save it, this guy here. Technically, if you always go right, like from character perspective, you should get through the forest at some point. Either just go left or go right every time you can. Then you should make it at some point. If you don't know where to go. I should actually try that if it works before I say that. But I, it should definitely work, I think. 
She always go left from like character perspective. So no, go left. Take the next left. It would be going up here right now, I think. Yeah. But at some point, you will turn around and then you face the other direction, kind of. Oakland was nice, you came directly in my direction. I don't know when that game came out in Europe actually. Like originally it was released in uh, 1996 I think, in the US. I think it was 96. It was released after Final Fantasy VI. So when it got released in the US, I was 7. Well, 6 to 7. So when it get released in Europe, it was maybe 7, 8. Run. I hope so, since I have set up for the Omnitopia. Skip now. This should be no problem anymore. The only problem I have now is Neris. At this point of the game, pretty much. Okay, and Sterling maybe, but Sterling should not be that big of a deal. Neris is worse. Neris is the worst, actually. Or the raptor that drops something in my way and I can't go here. Freaking robot. Okay, my, the worst thing that could actually happen now is that I forgot something. Funny that you exactly have the same speed with the bazooka. Same with the spear. Six, 
Please, Nerus, be a nice boy. To wait like two minutes until I see him, or like two to three minutes. Queen actually also look angry. Let's see. Not that much though. Yo Van, thanks for the host. But we not. The gold split here on Sterling is fake, by the way, because I forgot to talk to Nerys last time. So I'm gonna need to delete that one. I just risk it and don't talk to Nerys again, but I don't want to do that. Not this run, though. Okay, now we are in go mode. He gave me the stupid spell. Alright, there's not much that can go wrong at this point anymore. Just don't need to grab, get grabbed by Sterling though. Nice. 
Like the biggest RNG factors are out of the game now. Us too. Thanks, man. Yeah, be careful here and press down so I'm not running into the door again. Uh, the dragon scared me as well. Still gain time here, even with talking to Nerys. <clears throat> okay. This should be it, uh, probably. Ah, get out of the menu. Kravik is not streaming right now, right? And doing 100% Evermore attempts? No, he's not. Good. So I keep the word record. If, if, if I gonna get word, word, word record now, I would keep it for a moment at least. <laughs> Okay, let's hope they are at least nice enough that they don't dodge that much here. But I missed them. Alright, it was good enough, I guess. Got this here. Shit. No. <laughs> oh God. The king tried. He he tried, but he could not do it.
Walker. I just really hope that I don't forgot a spell or so, or armor or whatever. And uh, that was barrier I, well, I got there. Okay. I would uh, have to do some side uh, tracking stuff here and there now. No clicks, thank you, man. Splits, yep. We have potential. We have a lot of potential. There's still some stuff left though. Even the biggest RNG parts are out of the game already, but we have still something left to do. And I the most I'm scared of is if I forgot something.
I was bot scholar, right? I didn't pay attention at all. Mm. Mm. Alright, good. Because I need. If I would have gotten the other one, then I would have need to buy it. Jinxing of jinx. <sighs> okay. Things that deep man. Way. <laughs> yep, it can fly backwards. It also can start. It can start vertically. It has a stupid stone wheel, and it can fly backwards. It's pu pure epicness, though. Beard. Balancing, balancing out. Yeah, that's why it also has a stove on the back, right? Out of iron. I mean, I have no idea about aircrafts, but I, I definitely can tell you this thing wouldn't be flying in real life. Where's the dog? I'm not getting a goldsmith here again, do I? I get. Holy shit, what the hell? Uh, what the fuck? What the shit actually? I gained a gold. I had a goldsmith last time already. And now I get another one. Something unreal though. I don't know. Feels really like a fucking. <laughs> It feels even more and more that I forgot something. It's not good. Okay. Okay, I need to see the gate. 
grenades though. Right. Oh fuck, I opened the raptor. Ah. MacGyver, yes. <laughs> He's a tinker, so... Alright, so we have the Omnitopia skip now. Hopefully. Oh, I need to try. Uh, I need to change money first. Oh, change money! My very best. <laughs> Yo, Fatlo, thank you for the fifty bits. <laughs> oh boy, look at this. Like, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. Oh boy. Damn, Zeal helped me a lot here, though. Thanks to Zeal for explaining me the uh, Omnitopia skip buffer. Uh, that's why the timer looks like this now. <laughs> it's over less split. Thank you. 
As I said, I'm still not sure if I got everything. Like, it could be that I forgot something. Because I had... I, it felt like I had some unrealistic time saves in this run. Don't crash with this plane though, otherwise you'll never be able to go back into space. Measure, yep, that is that is an axe. Yep, I have that already. heal. That might be the spell from Neris though, and yes I have that. If I'm right, I'm only missing Energize now. Yeah, I have that. That was the last scary thing. Uh, the only thing I'm missing now is Energize, and that's I get from the prof now. Energize is the only thing that's left. Usually. Oh, I actually want to save. possibly go wrong at this point. Uh, I managed to soft lock it to final boss fight. <laughs> that can go wrong. I should not lose one mi a minute here. Definitely not. If I lose a minute in this fight, I gonna I gonna stop streaming forever. Which could happen right already. <laughs> Fuck this raptor, man. Why I pick up all these items that increase my hit chance and everything? Like, doesn't matter. You see, just. Freaking Raptors doesn't care.
<laughs> Farewell. I could lose time on this boss fight, probably, already, but should not be more than like 20 seconds. Look at this! Like, oh, like five dodges in a row or something like that. There was less set of raptors at least. Okay, so every time the robo dog barks, he dodges. Okay, he did not dodge that much actually. Horn spear level two. The fight is really shit though. Seven seconds. That's not too bad, though. Uh, the reign of Kravik has ended. <laughs> yes, I got it back.